Oh, there's a class right here. Some of us Oh shit, it's not charge class. Here. Uh, Behind you. I don't want to start There is an open seat here. What's up, babe? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me talk to Hello, you. I am Nettie. What's up, Nettie? So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? What is this charge class? Welcome okay. to year five of Chant. Yeah. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Oh, no. Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. <laughs> My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Hmm. Well. It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Ooh, got a new spell. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! We're going to go outside. Let's go. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the switches. Relinquish your charm. Very good. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are coming toward you. Excellent control there. I'm tough with it, y'all. That's it! Very good. Points to Gryffindor. Yeah. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Well, Onai, nah. what you got, baby? Let us see this. Very good. 
good. That is how it's done. Cookie, you baby. There we go. This would have won, y'all. This would have won, y'all. Yes, yes, sir. You met the uh... a perfect score. Remarkable. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> oh, on, I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. We already won, bro. I'm tough. Get fuck with me. Excellent control there. That is how it's done. Well done. Don't knock me off, please. There we go. Let's go. Ah! It happens to the best of us. Yo, you lucky, yo. Good, both of you. Well done. Damn. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Hi, baby. Of course. So, Professor bro. Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Yeah, you look crazy. You look crazy, I don't care. Rebellion. Mm, what's up here? Damn, I can't get in there yet. Damn. All right, we go to my language. Sorry, Professor. What's up, uh... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Uh... Go to the next class. 
there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah, what's up? Hello. What's up? You want what do you to need? Speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. It's me and you. You're cool. be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. How are you? God damn. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Mm. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. 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 Charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. That'd be us, though. Alright. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a good Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, mm -hmm. I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Levioso! Good point. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just Levioso and Protego. Students from Protego. I'm doing 
Yeah, you ain't fucking me, bro. Come on, bro. You ain't fucking with me, gang. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Not good as me, bro. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hagen. I'm representing Don't Gryffindor, you know what I'm saying? Practice. I got two points today. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark <coughs> wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Let me talk to Bo real quick. And nice work. See what you gotta say. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was there? quite something. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be quiet if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna get caught again. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke. Bro, and I'm him, bro. Like, I'm him. Let's if not play you're him. interested. Until next time. Alright. Right down. We leveled up. What is? If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. I guess so. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Oh, you know, this is tough. We really in school. Ah. 
The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it. Revelio. isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Travel. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I don't know if I'm using it though. You I can like get almost anywhere in the castle schools. quickly from Central oh. Hall. Oh my god, look at the pain. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Revelio. Our King's Cross Station. So what is that? Think. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. All right, I ran on Figgy. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. I can't ran on Figgy, bro. Oh, Speak man. of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. 
Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah, bro. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Hello, bro. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Main quest, clean main quest, story. Some quests a lot of requirements. Check quest. Charms class. Go to charms class first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Cool. Quest complete. Let's get it. Oh, as well be so happy, boy, Jovies. <laughs> That's tough. Bit of snot on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Revelio. Oh, yeah, okay. Revelio out here. Ooh, cat. Professor Weasley. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Oh. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get That's a slot from me. a stroller. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. 
In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, should I go with Natty or Sebastian? Um, I'm gonna go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Cool. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, <clears throat> and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yeah, I need me uh, some butterbeer. <coughs> some butterbeer. What's that? Speak to Professor Ronan, receive first assignment, assignments. Complete it, new spells. Ooh. Okay. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Let me get this version real quick, Professor. Okay. To light the flying page near a broken statue. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Got it. That was easy. I trust the preliminary. Time. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repero. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. 
Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Mm, well, I'll get there, bro.